I have like my matcha tea here. We're just gonna chit chat, okay? There's like no structure to this. I'm so sorry if like things don't make sense in this video. I, I think it will though. I think I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, hey everybody, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, like I said, I'm gonna do something a little bit different because in today's video, I'm going to be talking about socionics, but specifically the gamma quadra conversation. So things that you might hear when you're having a conversation with a gamma quadra type. For those of you who do not know socionics, don't worry about it because I'm going to simplify everything for you in this video so that you do get it and uh, you'll totally be able to understand this conversation. So don't even worry about it, right? So what are some things that you need to know about being in a conversation with a gamma type? Okay, well, the first thing is that work is everything to this quadra okay and now okay i'm, I'm gonna just like because i know when i say this a lot of people who are like mistyped or something they're gonna be like oh yeah i know i can totally agree i love work like no that's not what i mean so it's a little bit different from the delta quadra types who are more interested in ideas so i think in the delta quadra conversation you hear a lot about you know turning dreams into a reality kind of a conversation it's very like idealistic um it's a very comfortable accepting quadra you know all about good faith judgments and accepting of differences i guess and while gammas may preach that in their ideals like they may say that i'm a very you know accepting person i have a lot of dreams and i'm all about anything is possible and yay dreams come true kind of thing they might say that but this, the gamma quadra is not going to demonstrate this in their actions, meaning they don't live that principle. And this is going to be very evident when you walk into a gamma conversation. So when I say work is everything, I guess I also mean money is everything. So it's like they actually enjoy working and um, they money is kind of a big part of that they'll just openly talk about salaries and stuff like that you know and it's like kind of off-putting at first because you're like wow that's like so rude you know <laughs> like it's like but no th this is how important work is and it's just a normal conversation like they'll just be like how much money are you actually making though you know <laughs> and it's not to say that gamma types are not sympathetic towards individual experiences because that's not tr that's not entirely true i'm gonna uh, elaborate more on experiences later on but what i'm saying is that um they're not going to understand the nuances of individual experiences to the point where those nuances prevent us from doing something necessary in life which is i mean money is very i mean i think that's necessary for anybody right uh, survival is necessary for anybody so when you talk about how you don't really have anything going on with your life regardless of what the uh, the reason might be like maybe it's like you're going through something mentally emotionally maybe a family emergency or whatever the case uh it, it is the gamma quadra types that kind of have a tendency to be like okay well you know here are some things you can do to like overcome that you know like you need to start going to therapy you need like there's just this intent this forward movement that in a gamma unless you are a gamma type yourself it's very, um, it's kind of off-putting, I guess. And you know the thing I, I like to tell people, especially, you know, when I have these typing sessions, it's one thing to relate to the things I'm saying to, it's another thing to live it, you know? So it's like talk is cheap. So you can talk all you want about how these are your beliefs or these are not your beliefs. You know, maybe you are a gamma type yourself and you're like, I don't agree with any of that. I don't like, that's not how I act. You know, that's not what I believe in. But chances are, to people around you, you do have this aura about you. Meaning, you may not think you do this, but there is something about you in your presence that kind of demonstrates this outwardly. So I mentioned before that work is everything in the Gamma Quadra. You, you better have some kind of a something, a project that you're working on, okay? So work is everything, but so is partying. I think that the reason why the Gamma Quadras have this forward momentum so much is because they do naturally have a lot of sensual desires, I think. I think this is the nature of extroverted sensing in the Gamma Quadra types. Like if you compare an extroverted intuitive quadra versus an extroverted sensing quadra, the extroverted sensing quadra will most likely want to experience something sensual 
which is why you're going to have to engage with the reality in front of you in order to get that object of desire. Okay, this is gonna get a little bit abstract and I don't even know if I should say this, but I don't care. If you guys understand what I'm saying or if you wanna clarify it on your own, leave it down below in the comments. But basically it's like, I think with extroverted sensing and introverted intuition, it's like time and space. So if you are acquiring space, then you already have an intuition of time because if you're trying to influence or obtain influence over something concrete, then your intuition of time for how that's going to happen is going to be more immediate. It may even be more accurate. Whereas if you are seeking an ideal, so that's not anything in space. If you're seeking some kind of an ideal or like a dream or something, your intuition of time will also not be there. You wouldn't have this sense of immediacy towards it because if anything, you actually want to be more exploratory about it. You want to be more open-minded because you never know, right? Which path will lead to that ideal. So work is everything, but parting is everything too. And I do think that what differentiates the Gamma Quadra types is that they do like to party. They do like sensual, experiences they like the finer things in life they like uh, even if they can't afford it uh or whatever their situation may be i think that they do value experience which actually brings me to my next point i think that the gamma quadras as much as they are all about productivity and while they may not have understanding of nuanced experiences they very much like hearing your stories about intense experiences. So when you're talking to the Gamma Quadras, they're actually very open about talking about personal experiences, not in a way to lighten up the mood or anything like that, but I'm talking about like deeper conversations, even like traumas that you have gone through and things like this. But the point of the Gamma Quadras for why they even talk about these experiences is because it's so interesting hearing people overcome those experiences in order to be where you're at or something like this. It's basically for the sake of impacting the social environment with your story, as opposed to telling a story so that other people can follow you or do something with their life or passing on knowledge. It's not like that. I think it's really that they value the intensity that people or intense experiences that people go through in order to get to where they're at. I think that goes in hand with the previous thing that I talked about where I said that they enjoy parting too, because at the end of the day, SC, if you are using extroverted sensing, you're not using intuition. So you might see a lot of gamma quadras, you know, getting into the wrong things, jumping into quickly, right? Into new experiences and then messing up and messing up really badly actually. But the ability to rise above that, you know, that's the Gamma Quadra story. So I think that also ties into why the Gamma Quadras love talking about work because it's, if you're not really overcoming anything and if you are not really, you know, going through anything, if you're just comfortable, it's like, oh, okay, well, that's nice but that ain't life, is it, you know? Business logic is also a big one. So with business logic, that is extroverted thinking. Um, even for the ESI or to put simply, you know, the FISE type, I think that even they would have some knowledge about business logic. So if you can imagine that, you know, FISE, starving artists, trying to make it out there in life, even when they're talking about things like this, they will still be incorporating some kind of business logic in their conversation. Like, how are they going to achieve that? Do you understand your competitors? You know, what do you have to do in order to get to that place to produce that particular outcome? They'll have some kind of a knowledge of it, even if it's not to the level of like the ENTJ or something like that. But yeah, business logic is, at, or business conversations in general, is a very big thing with gamma conversations. If you are working somewhere that is very business heavy, you better know your shit. Um, you better be able to speak about the business. I think that's a very common thing is you know how to speak about the business. Yeah, and again, even with that business logic, you know, it, it's there's this forward momentum. There's the combination of TE and NI. Like, where is this business going? What are you planning to do in the future? Okay, and the last one I think that differentiates the Gamma Quadra types 
from the other quadras is the mean girl bullying thing. <laughs> now, I wouldn't say that this is what they're trying to do intentionally. It's just that what I'm saying is that in comparison to other quadras, the gammas are gonna probably be the most mean outwardly. I do think it's because of the nature of introverted feeling, which is already closed off already as it is. But on top of that, the introverted feeling is connected to introverted intuition, not even introverted sensing. So it's not about comfortable relationships like FISI. It's not about being able to pick up on the comfort levels of the group or anything like that. If there's something to criticize, if there's an opinion that needs to be said, it's going to be the gamma that's gonna say something uh, and not be afraid to say it either. Uh, there's some kind of a directness when it comes to the gamma quadrant. It's like this intensity. Uh, it's not gonna be about niceties or saying things in a pleasant way so as to get a certain reaction. Like, no, gammas are just gonna be like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? You know, it's just very blunt, very flat face, which may come across as kind of mean or bullying to other quadras, but that's not exactly the case. It really is like perfection is the enemy of progress. So T and I is always about progress and in order to progress, you're going to ruffle some feathers that is just completely accepted in the gammas. This quadra is not about passion or comfort. It's really just about getting to that goal, even cutting corners if you have to. So yeah, again, there's this like this bluntness, this direction, this forward momentum with T E N I. Yeah, so I think these are some of the points that I notice in Gamma Quadra conversations. I might be a little bit too harsh, but sometimes I like to over-exaggerate things to get to the point so that it makes sense for most people. Also, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you know, talk is cheap. You might say that you relate to these points or you don't relate to these points, but at the end of the day, it's about your actions. But anyway, uh, I hope this video was fun. It was definitely fun for me to just kind of let out my insights. If you are not a Gamma type, leave a comment down below. I wanna hear about your interactions. If you are a Gamma Quadra type, let me know down below. Have you had these experiences before where you maybe had, you came across a little bit too strong in the group, a little bit too blunt? I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much, bye.